Senior midfielder Vanessa DiBernardo joins us. And uh, Vanessa, talk about that game on Thursday against Minnesota. Got to see some action out there uh, off the bench. Uh, how did you feel about uh, kind of getting some, some minutes on Thursday? I mean, it was fun. It was good to be out there with my teammates again and being able to help. Um, you always enjoy when you're out there with your teammates. And I think uh, just any minutes out there I'm happy about. Uh, talk about the knee. Uh, is it continuing to get better and better for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a slow process, but it's getting better, and I'm feeling more confident with cutting and passing. So I think just the longer I get, the better I'll be. Hoping to get some significant playing time here this week in the Big Ten tournament then? Hopefully. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Um, I'm just there whenever I'm needed, and whatever is chosen for me, if I can help the team out in any, any way possible, I'll be ready. You've certainly been through these postseason battles before right here at Illinois. Um, have you talked to some of your younger teammates a little bit about it, just uh, kind of how maybe things are even a little bit more intense this time of year? Yeah, it's definitely the fun part of the year. You don't know what's going to happen. And I think just um, showing that it's one game at a time, you only focus on what's coming. And Indiana right now is our main focus, and we're only going to focus on that because you don't want to look into the future, and you don't know what's going to happen for the future. The Hoosiers gave you a tough game uh, last month down in Bloomington when you had to watch uh, from the sidelines. Uh, what do you remember from that game last month, and uh, what was the difference in that one, do you think? Uh, that was a tough game for us. I think um, as a team, we were put into many different positions, just kind of with injuries and the field condition. It was just, I think, a tough challenge for us. So I think we're excited to be playing them again and looking forward to that, um, that game coming up. And just, um, you know, with postseason play, you know, your last go around, um, what, what, what are some goals for, for yourself and for the team for this postseason? What, what do you want to see happen out there? I mean, you definitely want to do the best you've ever done, which means, I mean, winning another Big Ten tournament title and exceeding that second round of NCAAs. That's always kind of where we've stopped the past two, three years. So I think that's... Um, as a senior, my expectation. I think as a team, we are capable of doing that. So that's what I want to go out and do. I guess if there's been any benefit for, for the Illini during your absence, it's that some other players have kind of stepped in and, and filled in your role there in the midfield. Cassidy Brown, one of them, one of your classmates. Talk about the, the transition she's made from, from back line to midfield and how she's been able to help out the team. Yeah, she's definitely made a transition. Um, I remember sophomore year, she made that same tran transition, and she's comfortable in the midfield. She was an attacking player in high school. So I think just getting her in there and also Alia Silva, she's definitely stepped up and um, played a significant amount of minutes. And I think just those guys and being able to, um, they're comfortable out there when they're out there. So I think just having them out there and, Working hard for us is just beneficial for everyone.